What you're about to hear is the audio of an episode with Bill Maher, basically describing how so incredibly easy it is to be elected as a Republican member of Congress, not even being qualified to be a Republican member of Congress. All you got to do at this point is three things. One, say the vaccines are fake or they don't work or don't get them. Two, make sure you destroy mask mandates and make sure people in your district die. And three, and this is the most important one, support the big lie for Donald Trump. Take a listen. You'll hear some laughs and you'll probably laugh yourself. Is that funny? And finally, new rule. Joe Biden has to admit that when he said about Republicans, with Trump gone, you're going to see things change because these folks know better. They know this isn't what they're supposed to be doing. He was wrong. <laughs> and he has to come to terms with why that was wrong, which I'm going to explain to you tonight. Now, I'm sure most of our viewers have had the same thought I've had since January 6th. How can they do it? Republicans, come on. Different policy positions, okay, sure. Even life philosophies, fine. List of priorities, yes. But this, sticking with the lie that an impeccably run election was really stolen, what makes them do that? What is so great that it can make you, the big patriot with the flag pin on your lapel, sell out your country on its most fundamental principle? And the... And the answer is the title, the office, the staff, the good table, all that attention, and being the big cheese around the office. Congressman is literally the only job in the world you can get with so much prestige and so many perks while being a complete doofus with absolutely no skills, knowledge, or qualifications. <laughs> Name only almost any job. Dental hygienist, rodeo clown, <laughs> dog walker, mall Santa, chicken sexer, tilt-a-whirl operator. They all demand some kind of definable skill set. Not Congress. You can be in jail and get this job. You can be deranged and get this job. If you have a heart attack, they just let your wife start doing the job. <laughs> All you need is a smile and a tie. I'd say you need a pulse, but dead people have been elected to Congress. <laughs> much more... Much more is required of an immigrant taking the citizenship test or the average voter than the person who represents 750,000 voters. In 48 states, you can't vote if you're in prison, but in every state, you can run for Congress from prison. <laughs> Unremarkable people can get a remarkable life in Congress, and that's what keeps the average Republican backbencher in Fatso's thrall. <laughs> Sticking with Trump guarantees them something that's bigger than faith, family, country, or objective reality. They get to keep the best job they could ever get with absolutely nothing to recommend their lazy, ignorant ass for it. College degree? You don't even need a high school degree. Lauren Boebert didn't get one, and she sits on the budget committee. If she wasn't in Congress, she could probably get a shift at a truck stop dusting the jerky. <laughs> <clears throat> but then she wouldn't have two paid-for offices, one in D.C., one in her district. She wouldn't have a staff that answers the phone for her and kisses her ass all day. No one would put her on TV and ask her opinions. She couldn't go on exotic paid-for trips. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean fact-finding missions. 
A Congress job is just so much better than racking the weights at CrossFit, which is what Marjorie Taylor Greene did before she set her crazy eyes on the prize. <laughs> and once you've got the gig, it's yours for life. The re-election rate in the House for incumbents in 2020 was 95%. That's better job security than a pedophile priest. <laughs> <clears throat> Devin Nunes, I guess, could mop up puke at the Sonic. <laughs> but it would take him all day. <laughs> would you hire this guy? <laughs> but in Congress, puke mopper Devin Nunes is a big deal. <laughs> a man of respect. <laughs> when he walks in and asks for the best table, you know what they say? They say, sir, this is a PetSmart. <laughs> The Cheesecake Factory is next door. <laughs> Last year, a video went viral of a Walmart employee quitting her job over the PA. Fuck this company, fuck this position, and fuck that big, lazy bitch, Chris Price. I fucking quit. Yeah. And here's Texas Representative Chip Roy telling Congress to take this job and shove it. This institution is a sham, and we should adjourn and shut this place down. Yeah, the difference is the Walmart employee actually quit. <laughs> I love this chick. Can we look at it one more time? Fuck this company, fuck this position, and fuck that big lazy bitch, Chris Price. I fucking quit. <laughs> But Chip Roy, he'll never quit, because there's no other jobs where a moron gets paid to ride around in a limo. <laughs> Chip gets paid 175 grand a year, free medical, great pension, with half the year off, plus a million and a half dollar a year allowance for decorating the office and sundries. Oh, also, lobbyists blow him. <laughs> and he gets to be on TV for doing nothing, which, as we all know, is the American dream. And... <laughs> and by doing nothing, I mean that literally. Once you get elected, you don't have to actually do anything. There's no year-end performance review. Nobody calls you into an office and says, I don't think this is working out. You have essentially no boss. Well, except the voters. That's the one thing you gotta do to keep all these perks coming. If your district is full of people who think the election was rigged, or vaccines have microchips in them, or Democrats eat babies, you have to agree and then repeat it in Congress. And they do. Nancy Mace is a new House member from South Carolina, the first woman to graduate from the Citadel. After January 6th, she was outraged and stood up to her party, giving a dozen interviews in a single day condemning Trump. Now, she won't even talk about it. She voted to oust Liz Cheney for making the exact same case she herself had made. A lot of people in America think she's a patriot, but she looks to me like a traitor for the corner office. She supported an insurrection for the likes. Oh, and one more thing. This Chris Price guy over at the Walmart, he is a fucking lazy bitch. 